Hey guys, this is Kool Aid Man from Hippopotamus Sandwich, and um, I have a battle with Battle Bob here. Okay, so <clears throat> he sends out a Drapion lead, and I get off a of Swords Dance before he taunts, so I can Aerial Ace, and I end up killing him, so that's pretty cool. And then he goes into a Tyranitar, so I think. Well, he starts up the sandstorm, but I just go for a brick break, times more effective, and wipe out his Tyranitar. Okay, so with my Scyther, I'm getting a pretty nice sweep started with one Swords Dance. He goes into a fortress, and I just kind of go for the aerial ace. Uh, yeah, I tried to go for a Swords Dance, but it forgot about the taunt, so that's still okay, I'll just... So that's pretty cool. And he sets up rocks, and I can't really switch out because my Scyther will die if I switch him back in, and I don't have a Rapid Spin or anything. So I just finish him off with a Brick Break, and continue to sweep, basically. <laughs> Except for right here. He stops my sweep with a Gengar. <laughs> He's faster than me, and he finishes my scythe there. So I'm kind of confused right here. I decided to go into Umbreon. Uh, he's a trap passer Umbreon, so I went for the mean look. I knew he was going to switch out, but I just decided to mean look, and he goes into an Aerodactyl, so I think, oh, well, he probably can't do anything against me, but I forget. <laughs> I don't really forget, but his... Stone Edge does a lot more than I thought it would. And yeah, I think it's a choice band Aerodactyl, so that's probably why it did a lot. And so, I would usually baton pass, but I couldn't really switch out in anything. I was kind of hoping for a miss right there. I was going to switch into my Dragonite, which I ended up doing anyway, because the on still went on. So, I was gonna use Dragon Dance, but I misclicked and accidentally used Earthquake, so that really sucks. I hate misclicks. And, okay, well, it's still okay, because I get off a of Dragon Dance, and that's good. And, after that, I can pull off a Stone Edge and finish Zeradactyl, so that's still pretty cool. <coughs> so... I finish off his Aerodactyl, and he goes into his, I think it's his last guy? No, he has two guys left. He goes back into his Gengar, and hits my Gengar with a Shadow Ball, and luckily it doesn't kill me, and I'm left in red health. So I decide to go for Outrage since he only has two guys left. And his last Pokemon ends up being a Cacturn, which really annoying because I thought well this is cool I'll just finish him but I forgot about Sucker Punch so a Sucker Punch finishes me and I decide to go into Infernape or Infrenape and I use Fire Punch and this is really stupid because he has a Focus Ash but the cool thing about it is I get Burn Hacks and I don't know if it would have really mattered but it's still cool and yeah, that's just a cool way to finish him off. So, good game, Battle Bob. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys.